Fusion splicer setup and splicing. Splice and heating mode. Before starting your job, ensure your fusion splicer settings match the type of fiber and splice protection sleeves you will use. Let's begin by selecting the correct splice mode. Navigate to the main menu, select splice mode and choose the appropriate mode based on your fibers. You can also leave it in auto mode to let the splicer detect the fiber type automatically. Next, choose the correct heating mode, which depends on the length of your splice protector. Go to the main menu, select heat mode and choose the appropriate mode. For this presentation, we are using a 60 mm splice protector. We are now ready to proceed to the next steps. Arc calibration. Arc calibration adjusts the arc parameters according to the environmental conditions. It compensates for temperature, pressure and humidity to ensure optimal splicing results. We recommend performing arc calibration before starting your splicing job. To initiate the procedure, go to the main menu, select maintenance and then arc calibration. Prepare two fiber ends as you would for standard splicing. Strip the fiber. Clean it with special wipes or lint-free tissues and isopropyl alcohol. Cleave it. And place it into the splicer. Repeat the same procedure for the other fiber. With the fibers correctly positioned in the splicer, close the lid and start the calibration. The splicer will bring the fibers to the splicing point and melt them back. Based on the melt-back distance, it will calibrate the splicing parameters. Once the procedure is complete, you should see the operation complete message and green numbers on the screen. If not, repeat the procedure. Our calibration may need to be run a few times before completion. We are now ready to proceed to the next steps. Splicing. Before starting your splice job, ensure you have selected the appropriate splice and heating modes and performed arc calibration if required. Verify these settings in the workbench interface. First, prepare the fibers for cleaving. Remove any coatings and strength members, then strip the fiber to expose the bare glass, approximately an inch or two. Clean it with special wipes or lint-free tissues and isopropyl alcohol and place it into the cleaver. The cleaver holder has three grooves. The large one for single ruggedized cables such as two or three millimeters patch cords, the one in the middle for a 900 micron cables and the one at the bottom for 250 micron cables. For our fiber, we will use the bottom groove. Adjust the placement of the coating edge to determine the cleave length based on the splice protector length. Once cleaved, carefully transfer the fiber into the splicer. The fiber end should sit between the line of the electrodes and the edge of the V-groove. Repeat this procedure for the other fiber, remembering to put the splice protector on before stripping and cleaving. Once ready, close the lid and let the splicer complete the splice. Next, carefully move the splice protector closer to the fiber holder. Release the fiber on both ends and position the splice protector in the middle of the splice. Transfer the fiber into the heater. Once the red LED indicator is off and the buzzer sounds, your protected splice is ready and can be placed in the cooling tray. The splicing procedure is now complete. For more information or guidance, visit InnoInstrument.com.